is St. Patrick's Day, and of course, people are already celebrating today. One of the biggest celebrations in our area this afternoon is the annual parade in Erin, and our Katie Crowther is there. It started about an hour ago. Katie, what's the vibe out there? How's it looking? Well, Ryan, I think I just have to be clear and say this off the start. Ain't no party like a town of Erin St. Patrick's Day party, because a town of Erin St. Patrick's Day party don't stop. Listen to this. We got dancers. We got dancers. I'm just going to walk down the parade route to show you. The parade has been going on here since 11 a.m. I am not responsible for what anyone is doing in this shot. But can you see how excited people are to be out here? It's something that literally everyone in this area comes out for. Literally all ages. I've seen 95 year olds and newborn babies. Of course, everyone in some sort of green. People just yelled to me they're from Nashville and they're here for this. So it is safe to say this is the biggest party here in a few years. Last year, St. Patrick's Day Parade here did go on, but with extra pandemic safeguards in place and not as big of a crowd. The parade was canceled in 2020 due to COVID-19. So today really does mark a return to some sort of normalcy and celebration for a lot of people out here. Now, you know, you got the tractors, <laughs> you got you got the fire trucks. There's a little bit of everything. And then just not far from here at um, Aaron Inn, there is, a, I think, a 75 foot bar outside. So a lot of people in a festive mood. And I will just continue to be out here and bring you all at five. But I do want to say everyone is being responsible out here for the most part. They tell me they have designated drivers because on a day like this, this real, that really is the most important. Ryan, I'm going to send it back to you. Oh my gosh, so many people have been craving this celebration for so long. Katie, it looks so much fun, fun for the whole family. Thank you so much.